Hey there YouTube, how are you doing? This is the best 1A and today I am bringing you a small unboxing of a scale that I purchased from Amazon. This is basically something to help me with my uh, my weight loss goals while doing this keto diet. Uh, I wanted something a little bit better than what I was using, which is this scale here. As you can see, I'll zoom in there a little bit for you. But as you can see, this is the scale that I was using. So as you can see, this is a scale that I was using, which has the normal numbers, just normal analog. It's not a bad thing. It, it, it works. You know, if you put something in there and you want to know how much weight it's, it's at, the dial just moves just like that. For what I wanted to do, it actually, it's not bad. But um, I wanted to get something that was digital that I felt would work a little bit better. So I decided to try something different. And I ended up finding this scale here. Now, this is a AccuWay Model 207 digital scale. It's a digital kitchen multifunction scale. And I found this on Amazon. And I said, ah, let me... Yeah, I figured for the price it wasn't bad. The cost of it was $19.99. So I figured, hey, let me uh, let me order one and try it out and see how I like it. So here we are. So this wasn't the only thing I ordered. I also ordered a little thermometer for measuring the temperature of food. But for now, We'll put that to the side and we'll just deal with this right here, which is the AccuWay Digital Kitchen Scale. Okay, so this is actually what we get in the box here, is that scale. And now it says this model is AWKS 2005 WS. Now, nice thing about it is that it actually does come with the battery. So, you got two AAA batteries which are included. Um, you could do milliliters, fluids, uh, does grams also. Is within accuracy is within 0.1 ounces or one gram. Add and weigh and an 11 pound capacity. So. I thought it was a pretty nice scale. Also checking the reviews. The reviews seem pretty good. So we can open it up and let's have a look at what we got here. Okay, so we have some directions here. You have an unlock and a lock button, supposedly, on on the bottom. We'll look at that in a little bit. Pretty much, from what I was reading, they state that if you are not using it for a while, put it in a lock position. There's a little card that they send you. I guess if you need help with anything, they send you that. And here we have the scale. Let's take it out the plastic. And we got the two batteries. I gotta cut the batteries out of the plastic there too. Alrighty. Alright, so it's actually looks like a pretty nice scale. This does looks like it doesn't come off. From what I was seeing, I saw on a question, somebody asked a question if you could take this off and put it in a dishwasher, but the answer was no. But you can clean it off with uh, mild soap and water or a mild detergent if you want to. And here's the underside, actually, of what the underside looks like. And here's that little lock and unlock button. Well, we'll leave it on unlock side. All right, so let's put the batteries in. 
put the batteries in and we'll be right back. So almond says 16 servings per container. All right, serving size is one ounce or 28 grams. It is about a quarter cup, it says, and that's 160 calories of these almonds. So you'll take them and you'll start dropping your almonds in. go you have about an ounce so I think this would be a great help to me this will help with uh, my food prep and my servants so I just wanted to open this up and show it to you guys and I hope this comes in handy to someone out there maybe anyone out there that's been wondering what this is like or how it works or if it works uh, let's try what did it say again now? It said 28 grams. Let's try, let's try the peanuts. Peanuts are the same thing. So we'll zero it out again. I don't know if I have enough peanuts on in here, but we'll zero it out again. All right, 8.3, we'll zero it. I just want to see something. Minus 8.3, back to zero again. Okay, I just wanted to see how consistent this is. So let's try with our peanuts here. And we're going to 28 grams. Oh, actually I gotta change it. Okay, grams, there we go. So I'm not sure if I have enough peanuts, but I guess if you wanted to do a mix, you could do peanuts, okay. And almonds. <laughs> and call it pretty much a mix. Yeah, don't have enough. Okay. Put an almond in there. And there you go. That's about uh, 29. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much, this pretty much would be a serving, as you can see here. Interesting, right? So I think this is gonna be a big help to me in regards to measuring out my food, even measuring out things like uh, avocado. And then I have an app called Carb Manager, Carb, Carb Manager that I use. And I put all of my input, all of my food in there. Anyway, so I hope you guys found this video interesting and I do look forward to seeing you guys again and I thank you for stopping by eight point three again that's pretty consistent eight point three yeah so alright guys so thank you for watching and I hope that this in some way helped you to visualize this item and see this item and I wish you all a very happy new year and a great day.